First, navigate to this folder location. Now, create a new folder. Give it a sensible name, in this case, House Elements. This is where we'll be storing the new components. Now, open up BricsCAD. In the Components panel, you'll see the new folder is available, but it's empty. So let's change that. Click Create Components. Use Drawing. Give it a name and choose the new category. The component has now been created and a thumbnail has been automatically attached. If you navigate to the folder, you'll see the drawing is now available. Now let's create a component from just a section. Click Select Entities and choose the section of the drawing you want. Give the component a name and choose the category. In the Components panel, you'll see that the new components are now available. Did you know you can also create a component that already contains block elements? It works in exactly the same way. Now we're going to manually copy and paste a file into the folder location. If you open up BricsCAD, and check the file, you'll see the component is there, but no thumbnail is associated. To fix this, simply add a thumbnail of the correct dimensions to these two folders. If you restart BricsCAD, you'll see that the thumbnail is now available. This component can be inserted the same as any other component. Thank you for watching.